the first station, Jesus is condemned to death. We adore thee, O Christ, and we praise thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Consider that Jesus, after having been scourged and crowned with thorns, was unjustly condemned by Pilate to die on the cross. My adorable Jesus, it was not Pilate, no, it was my sins that condemned thee to die. I beseech thee, by the merits of this sorrowful journey, to assist my soul in its journey towards eternity. I love thee, Jesus, my love above all things. I repent with my whole heart for having offended thee. Never permit me to separate myself from thee again. Grant that I may love thee always, and then do with me what thou wilt. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed rest in peace. Amen. The second station, Jesus is made to carry his cross. We adore thee, O Christ, and we praise thee because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Consider that Jesus is making this journey with the cross on his shoulders, thought of us and offered for us to his father the death that he was about to undergo. My most beloved Jesus, I embrace all the tribulations that thou hast destined for me until death. I beseech thee, by the merits of the pain thou didst suffer in carrying thy cross, to give me the necessary help to carry mine with perfect patience and resignation. I love thee, Jesus, my love above all things. I repent with my whole heart for having offended thee. Never permit me to separate myself from thee again. Grant that I may love thee always, then do with me what thou wilt. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. May the souls of the faith through departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. The third station, Jesus falls the first time. We adore thee, O Christ, and we praise thee because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Consider this first fall of Jesus under his cross. His flesh was torn by the scourges, his head crowned with thorns, and he had lost a great quantity of blood. He was so weakened that he could scarcely walk, and yet he had to carry this great load upon his shoulders. The soldiers struck him rudely, and thus he fell several times in his journey. My beloved Jesus, it is not the weight of the cross, but of my sins, which has made thee suffer so much pain. Ah, by the merits of this first fall, deliver me from the misfortune of falling into mortal sin. I love thee, Jesus, my love above all things. I repent with my whole heart for having offended thee. Never permit me to separate myself from thee again. 
Grant that I may love thee always, then do with me what thou wilt. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed rest in peace. Amen. The fourth station. Jesus meets his sorrowful mother. We adore thee, O Christ, and we praise thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Consider the meeting of the son and the mother, which took place on this journey. Jesus and Mary looked at each other and their looks became as so many sorrows to wound those hearts which loved each other so tenderly. My most loving Jesus, by the sorrow thou didst experience in this meeting, grant me the grace of a truly devoted love for thy most holy mother. And thou, my Queen, who wast overwhelmed with sorrow, Obtain for me, by thy intercession, a continual and tender remembrance of the passion of thy Son. I love thee, Jesus, my love above all things. I repent with my whole heart for having offended thee. Never permit me to separate myself from thee again. Grant that I may love thee always, and then do with me what thou wilt. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. May the souls of the faith who departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. The Fifth Station Simon of Cyrene helps Jesus to carry his cross. We adore thee, O Christ, and we praise thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Consider that the Jews, seeing that at each step Jesus, from weakness, was on the point of expiring, and fearing that he would die on the way, but wishing him to die the ignominious death of the cross, constrained Simon the Cyrenian to carry the cross behind our Lord. My most sweet Jesus, I will not refuse the cross as the Cyrenian did. I accept it. I embrace it. I accept in particular the death that thou hast destined for me, with all the pains which may accompany it. I unite it to thy death. I offer it to thee. Thou hast died for love of me. I will die for love of thee and to please thee. Help me by thy grace. I love thee, Jesus, my love above all things. I repent with my whole heart for having offended thee. Never permit me to separate myself from thee again. Grant that I may love thee always, and then do with me what thou wilt. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. And may the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. The Sixth Station, Veronica Wipes the Face of Jesus We adore thee, O Christ, and we praise thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Consider that the holy woman named Veronica, seeing Jesus so afflicted and his face bathed in sweat and blood, presented him with a towel with which he wiped his adorable face, leaving on it the impression of his holy countenance. My most beloved Jesus, thy face was beautiful before, but in this journey it has lost all its beauty, and wounds and blood have disfigured it. Alas, my soul also was once beautiful when it received thy grace in baptism, but I have disfigured it since by my sins. Thou alone, my Redeemer, canst restore it to its former beauty. Do this by thy passion, O Jesus. I repent of having offended thee. Never permit me to offend thee again. Grant that I may love thee always, and then do with me what thou wilt. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. The seventh station, Jesus falls the second time. We adore thee, O Christ, and we praise thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Consider the second fall of Jesus under the cross, a fall which renews the pains of all the wounds of the head and members of our afflicted Lord. My most gentle Jesus, how many times thou hast pardoned me, and how many times have I fallen again and begun again to offend thee? O oh, by the merits of this new fall, give me the necessary help to persevere in thy grace until death. Grant that in all temptations which assail me, I may always commend myself to thee. I love thee, Jesus, my love above all things. I repent with my whole heart for having offended thee. Never permit me to separate myself from thee again. Grant that I may love thee always, then do with me what thou wilt. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed rest in peace. Amen. The Eighth Station The women of Jerusalem weep for Jesus. We adore thee, O Christ, and we praise thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Consider that those women wept with compassion at seeing Jesus in so pitiable a state, streaming with blood as he walked along. But Jesus said to them, 
Weep not for me, but for your children. My Jesus, laden with sorrows, I weep for the offensive that I have committed against thee, because of the pains which they have deserved, and still more because of the displeasure which they have caused thee, who hast loved me so much. It is thy love, more than the fear of hell, which causes me to weep for my sins. I love thee, Jesus, my love above all things. I repent with my whole heart for having offended thee. Never permit me to separate myself from thee again. Grant that I may love thee always, and then do with me what thou wilt. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. The Ninth Station Jesus falls the third time. We adore thee, O Christ, and we praise thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Consider the third fall of Jesus Christ. His weakness was extreme and the cruelty of his executioners excessive, who tried to hasten his steps when he had scarcely strength to move. Ah, my outraged Jesus, by the merits of the weakness that thou didst suffer in going to Calvary, give me strength sufficient to conquer all human respect and all my wicked passions which have led me to despise thy friendship. I love thee, Jesus, my love above all things. I repent with my whole heart for having offended thee. Never permit me to separate thyself from thee again. Grant that I may love thee always, and then do with me what thou wilt. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. The Tenth Station. Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore thee, O Christ, and we praise thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Consider the violence with which the executioners stripped Jesus. His inner garments adhered to his torn flesh and they dragged them off so roughly that the skin came with them. Compassionate your saviour thus cruelly treated and say to him, My innocent Jesus, by the merits of the torment which thou hast felt, Help me to strip myself of all affection to things of earth, in order that I may place all my love in thee, who art so worthy of my love. I love thee, Jesus, my love above all things. I repent with my whole heart for having offended thee. Never permit me to separate myself from thee again. Grant that I may love thee always, then do with me what thou wilt. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. The eleventh station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore thee, O Christ, and we praise thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Consider that Jesus, after being thrown on the cross, extended his hands and offered to his eternal Father the sacrifice of his life for our salvation. These barbarians fastened him with nails and then, raising the cross, left him to die with anguish on this infamous gibbet. My Jesus, loaded with contempt, nail my heart to thy feet, that it may ever remain there, to love thee and never quit thee again. I love thee more than myself. I repent of having offended thee. Never permit me to offend thee again. Grant that I may love thee always, and then do with me what thou wilt. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. The Twelfth Station Jesus dies upon the cross. We adore thee, O Christ, and we praise thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Consider how Jesus, after three hours of agony on the cross, consumed at length with anguish, abandoned himself to the weight of his body, bowed his head and died. O oh, my dying Jesus, I kiss devoutly the cross on which thou didst die for love of me. I have merited by my sins to die a miserable death, but thy death is my hope. Ah, by the merits of thy death, give me grace to die embracing thy feet and burning with love for thee. I commit my soul into thy hands. I love thee with my whole heart. I repent of ever having offended thee. Never permit me to offend thee again. Grant that I may love thee always, and then do with me what thou wilt. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. The Thirteenth Station Jesus is placed in the arms of his afflicted mother. 
We adore thee, O Christ, and we praise thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Consider that our Lord's having expired, two of his disciples, Joseph and Nicodemus, took him down from the cross and placed him in the arms of his afflicted mother, who received him with unutterable tenderness and pressed him to her bosom. O mother of sorrow, for the love of thy son, accept me for thy servant and pray to him for me. And thou, my Redeemer, since thou hast died for me, permit me to love thee, for I wish but thee, my Jesus, and I repent of ever having offended thee. Never permit me to offend thee again. Grant that I may love thee always, and then do with me what thou wilt. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. The fourteenth station. Jesus is laid in the sepulchre. We adore thee, O Christ, and we praise thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Consider that the disciples carried the body of Jesus to bury it, accompanied by his holy mother, who arranged it in the sepulchre with her own hands. They then closed the tomb and all withdrew. Ah, my buried Jesus, I kiss the stone that encloses thee, but thou didst rise again the third day. I beseech thee by thy resurrection, Make me rise glorious with thee at the last day. To be always united with thee in heaven. To praise thee and love thee for ever. I love thee and I repent of ever having offended thee. Never permit me to offend thee again. Grant that I may love thee always and then do with me what thou wilt. Our Father who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us, and may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Behold, O kind and most sweet Jesus, I cast myself upon my knees in thy sight and with the most fervent desire of my soul I pray and beseech thee that thou wouldst impress upon my heart lively sentiments of faith, hope and charity with true contrition for my sins and a firm purpose of amendment while with deep affection and grief of soul I ponder within myself and mentally contemplate thy five wounds, having before my eyes the words which David the prophet put on thy lips concerning thee. They have pierced my hands and my feet. They have numbered all my bones. Psalm 